So, we're headed down to uh, Corolla Beach today. Um, everybody was meeting at Wawa, they're taking forever, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. We're all meeting up at Duck Donuts in Corolla before we go to the beach, which is definitely the must see in Corolla on the way there because they have really awesome donuts. So, um, yeah, we're headed there. We're gonna get some donuts and we're gonna go uh, drive on the beach, hang out, have some fun. <laughs> Duck donuts. They have some amazing donuts here, so we're gonna go in and eat some. Eddie, you want a donut? I want a strawberry donut. Making our donuts? Yeah. Mmm, stinky. Alright, Alright, Just a minute. Can see what they look like? The donuts Yeah. Uh, we'll look right here. You wanna see what they look like? Eddie, come here. No, they're we're dry. Not eating, we're not eating them yet. We're not, we're not eating them yet. No, they're dry. We're not eating them yet. We're gonna eat them on the beach, okay? Oh, look at them. Go you, drive you see them? them? We gotta go drive to the beach. Let's go. Let's go drive to the beach. See those horses, baby? I see the
can't pet horse. You can't pet them. They're not for petting. They're wild. So super happy we got to see the wild horses. Um, I've been here maybe four times, and I've only seen them on the beach once. And we saw them as soon as we got to the beach. The whole uh, is there a herd herd of wild horses? Um, we parked and looked at them, but then we got chased off by the sanctuary patrol. I guess you're not supposed to park on the first mile and a half of the beach, and we didn't know that. Um, I mean, I'm not mad. That guy is out there to protect the horses, I'm sure. People aren't always super nice to them, and you know, you're not supposed to pet them or feed them or do anything with them, and you know, I'm glad that somebody's out there taking care of them but we didn't know we weren't supposed to park there. We just kind of got a little excited and really wanted to see those horses. And it's not every time you come down here you get to see them, so it's a, that's an awesome treat. past the third group of horses we've seen today. I've never seen this many horses down here, so it's super awesome to be able to see that many. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! <laughs> That's cold. Yeah. Is it cold, Daddy? Adrian, do not get your clothes wet. Let me see your shelves. Let me see. Can I see them, please? Show them. Let me Show see. Daddy. Show, Show mommy. This Show is for mommy. Oh. Show mommy. What are those? Fossils? Cool. Last hanging out at the beach, but we're headed back home. So gotta get get off this beach, go and uh, air the tires back up, and then head home.
aired the tires back up. Really cool, they have a uh, free air up station with uh, like five hoses and some parking spots. And there's a little park for the kids to play. So you can just, it's even like uh, gated in. So you can just put your kids in there and let them play at the park while you air up your tires for free. I wanted to use my new air pump that we bought off Amazon. So I parked at one of the spaces that didn't have an air pump at it and used that just for fun. But um, worked really well and uh, the kids had fun playing at the park. And there's also a mandatory air down station that we went to before where we aired down. It's a, it's a little gravel parking lot. Last time I came down here, they didn't have either one of those places, so I think it's really cool that they uh, started doing that. When people don't air down before they go on the beach, they you know have a higher chance of getting stuck, and they make deeper ruts for everybody else, and kind of make it uh, not as fun for everyone else. So I'm really glad they have that mandatory air down station, and then that free air up station is really cool. 